Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Els, aka The Witch, and I'm still ill. You can hear it in my voice. I can hear it in my voice, in my brain, and it's aggravating me, but I have to do this video, so here we are. I've made an effort, like I've done my hair for once in my life, and my makeup, but nonetheless, my voice sounds like I've still got two corkscrews stuck up my nose, so there is that point. But anyway, we are here today because it is a special day. It is the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. It's been one year since I first uploaded my video and announced to the world that I was going to be a gamer. And I did a big video being like, oh, welcome to my gaming channel. Welcome to my gaming channel. And then I explained like everything that was going to be on my channel. And I've stayed pretty accurate to it. I did like collabs, game reviews, vlogs, things like that. And I just wanted to say before anything thank you to every single person who's ever clicked on my profile watched a video subscribed commented liked disliked a troll any person that has just like shown an interest into anything that i've uploaded because literally one year ago today i had no idea how stuff was going to work out when i clicked submit on my first video and it has been a mad year like literally i never thought that doing YouTube could open so many doors for me and I just am so grateful and I wanted to talk through just some brief things. It's not gonna be a long video. I've got some footage and I'm just gonna talk through like the journey and how we started and everything. So let's start right from the beginning. So I created my own computer, which I use every day to edit my videos, to game on, to do anything to do with my YouTube. It is done on my computer, which I created from scratch. So my second video that I uploaded to my channel was my vlog of like me basically having a mental breakdown and building my computer. I'm feeling slightly um, losing the will to live. The chair, yep, this came with no instructions i just want i just want to my case has arrived feeling uh not so optimistic about this one but we're gonna try i've just put the graphics card in and now i'm trying to remember what i need to do next it's working it's actually fucking working i'm really happy that i put that one out like that was one of my first videos because i just wanted to prove to people that like i didn't just decide oh i want to be a gamer now and then that was that. I taught myself to create a computer from scratch. I taught myself to edit videos from scratch. Every single video that has been uploaded onto my YouTube or any other social media platform in the past year has been by me. The amount of hours that I have spent sat on this chair this year. So yeah, we did the introductory video. We did the building the computer, cool. And then I just started out my content. So it was more, I think I just did the Sims. I did a few like theme hospital based ones just like getting to grips with what works and what didn't. And then I think my first big collaboration was with Vidal. So we did a video on Vidal's channel where I boxed, where I was boxing with him and he did my makeup. Go. <laughs> and I'm just like, go. What have you done? <laughs> what, and what is, the, what is that? <laughs> Then he came on my channel and we played scary games together and then also we reacted to the Mortal Kombat trailer. I think, it, no, it was the Mortal Kombat fatality. So we reacted to that. It was great. Fatality. Oh, he's eating a bag. What? Who thinks of this? There's some crazy duns out there. And I think that was my first video that kind of, I want to say like, did well. Compared to like stuff now, it's probably not that much, but I think it was on like, 15,000 views or something like that anyway and yeah that was great I think that was my first time I was like oh like I had a video that like did more than like 3,000 views or whatever so yeah from then I was just doing more and more collaborations I was getting more of my friends on the channel and then in I think it was March I was approached by ASOS, so ASOS started working with me, which is mad because I always used to shop at ASOS when I was little. And they said that they were thinking of sending a few people out to LA in June for E3. And I was like, oh, what? what's E3? Which is really bad considering I'm a gamer. I didn't really know what E3 was. I'd never been to gaming conventions or anything. I literally just sat in my living room and played games. So I was like, okay, like 
obviously it's LA, like I have to go, even though I'm terrified of flying. So that was in the works. And then one month later is when I recorded the video with KSI. And I think that has to be one of like my key moments of the year. Like, cause if that hadn't have happened, then half of what I've done wouldn't, wouldn't have happened. So I literally have to thank him so much for just helping my whole channel and my career basically. <laughs> Whoa. Magic. So yeah, that video happened. It came out, initially took off, cool. And then my subscribers started going up. So thank you for anyone who found me from that video. Then obviously I went to LA. I'm so glad that I got on that plane and went because it literally changed a lot of things for me. For me, it was a moment, just like standing outside of the Staples Center with a big Xbox sign behind me saying like, I'm in LA. It was just a moment in the fact that what I was doing became more serious and like it actually showed that like I'm working hard and things are actually happening for me. And when I was there, I worked with the BBC. So I did a review on the Final Fantasy VII remake, which was amazing. I then also did a little bit of presenting for Jinx, which is an esports company. And I just was out there, bumped into someone. And then the next day they were like, do you want to come and present for us? So I was like, okay, cool. Literally jumped in the microphone, did one take and that was that. Hey guys, it's Els here and I am at the E3 conference 2019 in LA. That was sort of me just being like, do you know what? I haven't come all this way and I haven't worked so hard to then just like not do things because I'm nervous. So did that amazing presenting experience. Obviously I've told you guys before that I have the radio show on the side, but this is kind of like me being more on camera presenting. So the YouTube has helped tenfold. So if anyone's thinking of getting into presenting, they don't know what they want to do. I would recommend just jumping on YouTube and talking to a camera because it's like a show reel. Then August comes around and I have the opportunity to present at the FIFA E World Cup finals in the O2 Arena in London. And literally, when I tell you, like I'd never presented on stage before, I'd never had an earpiece, I'd never done anything. Everything that I've done in terms of presenting up until that point was really informal. So <laughs> looking back at the footage now, I just know how nervous I was. Thank you, Adam. Next up, we have the very first FIFA head-to-head -head battle. Throughout July, FIFA and Mixtape Madness have been on the hunt for the UK's very best freestylers, and they have picked four of them to perform in the semi-final on this stage for you guys. But there can only be two finalists. Please put your hands together and welcome our four semi-finalists, Big Jest, AO, DK, and Versay do their very own Mixtape Madness next up video and will be crowned the head-to-head -head freestyle champion for 2019. How did you find it? I oh, sure did and I'd like to thank all of you guys. And thank you guys for watching and thank you for all of you. You're all incredible. I'm so honoured to pronounce that DK is the winner and we have this lovely plaque for you here. I just think you did so well, especially thank with you. the mic cutting out. That is true professionalism. So congratulations. And yeah, from, from then really my kind of presenting stuff has taken off alongside the YouTube. So if you guys have watched my YouTube videos, you obviously know like everything that's been going on. I've been collaborating with a lot of people, been doing loads of gaming with views and I've just started doing giveaways for you guys and then we reached 1 million views last month on the KSI video which is amazing but if you didn't know alongside of that I've since been well since the FIFA E World Cup been presenting more so I present for JD Sport I do their podcast so I've had the opportunity to talk to loads of music artists, presenters, everything. Welcome back to JD in the Duffel Bag podcast. And today I am joined by the queen of everything, Miss Maya Jammer. <laughs> Hello. Originally we were gonna do Kling Kling together. But oh, Kling Kling. It's only water. And then also I started working for the Premier League's YouTube channel on a show called Uncut. On the FIFA 20 red carpet, it's busy. It's gonna be a good day. So we're playing a game quickly, FIFA ratings in real life. And you have to rate yourself in these six areas. <laughs> Fashion, joke telling, rapping, dancing, singing, and then your FIFA skills in real life. Out of 99. Yeah, FIFA rating. Fashion, is that your is that your best one? Yeah, that's yeah. 90. 90? Yeah. 96.01. Very specific. I think I'll give myself a bit of fashion, I'll go for 90, 90. but 60 man, I'm not funny guy. <laughs> I'm funny. I've got a funny character. Now nah, yeah, what's that? Knock knock, who's there? 
No, you're meant to say that, innit? Decent personality, but like, I don't really tell jokes. If it's joke telling, I'm giving myself 31. Gee, I don't think I've ever told one joke that's funny. Proper long to start, but like, at the top of my head. Freestyle, no freestyle. No chance. I reckon you could dance. Depends if I'm like, had a few drinks or not. Can you sing first now? Nah. <laughs> and then a hero comes along. Maybe I just don't get it. The way you're making me feel. <laughs> <laughs> and that literally came from the presenting at the FIFA E World Cup and yeah I'm just so happy with how this year has gone not to mention the fact that I've recently been working with like a few big gaming brands like Activision, IGN etc and it's just I created my YouTube channel with the mindset of oh people might be interested they might watch my YouTube videos. I had no idea that this would take off in terms of me professionally like presenting. So I just have to thank every single person involved. And yeah, I've been probably putting up some footage as we've been talking, but for the end of the video, I just wanted to like do some highlights. So thank you once again to everyone who has watched my videos and done anything and just supported me because it really does mean a lot. And I am so excited for 2020 and seeing how we can grow the channel and how just like life, what, what happens in life? Cause I literally have no idea at this point and I'm just really, really excited. So thank you guys. I hope this is motivation, if anything, to anyone who is kind of lost in what they want to do in life and just takes a risk because if you take a risk and you work hard and sacrifice anything could happen honestly i think that people are rewarded for their hard work and if i'm a good case study for anyone and good motivation then i'm happy so yeah thank you guys i will see you soon and hopefully this illness goes because i can't take I, I know how annoying it is on the microphone hearing this like blocked nose but i just need to do this video so yeah thank you guys and i will see you soon bye bye welcome to my gaming channel. I am Els, AKA The Witch, The Witch, The Witch, The Witch. And today I am gonna be playing Call of Duty, Resident Evil, Sims 4, FIFA, Apex Legends, Fortnite. I've been avoiding this game. <laughs> oh. Whoa, magic. Hey guys, it's Els here, and I am at the E3 conference 2019 in LA. But there can only be two finalists. Please put your hands together and welcome our four semi-finalists. Hey guys, it's Els, and I'm with Rinse at Twitter HQ. So we're playing a game quickly, FIFA ratings in real life, and you have to rate yourself in these six areas. <laughs> this is Els. And today we are officially on the road. And we've come to the heart of East London, to the Lion's Den. Welcome back to JD in the Duffel Bag podcast. I hope that you guys enjoy taking this journey with me. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna be back soon with a lot more content for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you see around, I suppose. <laughs>